I just arrived to the city of Pirji. Pirji is a village 25 kilometers from the capital, Kios, and it has about 755 residents. And the story about this town, it's, it's part of the Mastik villages, because Mastik is originally from here. This is the only place actually in the world where the Mastik tree grows. The village of Purji has a nickname, the Painted Village. The reason why is because of these carvings. It's a carving from the cement, it's not a tile. So they would carve out these designs. The more sophisticated the carving, the wealthier the family is. Maybe something like this? We'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. The story of Kios it supposedly is that Christopher Columbus was born here and also Homer who wrote the Odyssey, one of the most famous authors in all of history. The Genoese descendants of Christopher Columbus are from this town. Nevertheless, he did live here in Purgi and I think it was before the Atlantic expo exploration of the New World. Pirji is one of the villages that is associated with mastique agriculture. Mastique is a resin that is produced from the mastique tree and my stick is used usually in pharmaceuticals, but it could also be used in food, preparation for cuisine, and so on. These fortified towns were built inland in order to evade the invaders and attacks from possibly the Turks or the pirates. They are built like labyrinths. They have these arches. So when the attackers do come inside the inland, they could throw something from the top. You see, another arch here. Arches all over this place, quite clever to design an easy defense system in case somebody attacks this village. Since the town was founded in 10th century, it was the only town that wasn't affected by the earthquakes, especially the, in the end of 19th century earthquake that destroyed majority of this island. Therefore, the medieval architecture is preserved here. Also, another fun fact about this place is that near there's an island Ikaria that's a blue spot a blue spot means where people live the longest in the world and I believe here as well people live quite long you can see many elders and they look quite healthy now we go to the beach welcome to Marva Volia beach it's a beach that is made from volcanic rock here we have larger rocks over there, smaller pebbles. As you may know, Greece is located near volcanic zone. Therefore, there is a lot of earthquakes and there used to be volcanic activity. Not so much these days. Greece is not only prone to earthquakes, but they also house a lot of wildfires. The wildfires, for some reason, happen on the islands. I think it's because of the dry climate here and the dried grass all over the place. 
while I was driving around the island, there was a lot of stations where the fire department is. So stay safe and don't smoke here. That's really important. We are standing on top of the largest peak in Kios, I believe. And behind me is a monastery. Greek Orthodox. And over here, you can see the beautiful view of Greece. Actually over there across the Aegean Sea, you can see Turkey. The reason why we're so close to Turkey, which is across the channel, is because they had multiple wars between Greeks and Turks, especially during the Ottoman Empire. There was a massacre here in 1822 by the Ottomans. They killed 30,000 people and most of the population that was left have fleed from here at the time. During the war, the Greek and Ottomans, Europeans, France and Germany supported Greece because they were the representation of European principles. Therefore, they had to pick a side and they picked, of course, the Greeks. Even though the Ottomans conquered this island at one point, I believe during the collapse of Ottoman Empire, they divided a lot of the land, especially these islands which are so close to each other, the Greek and the Turk islands.